Cebu, home of endless coastlines, warm local hospitality, and beautiful stories to tell. Here, you are not just a guest, you are a fan. Immerse in a rich... Suddenly, everything became uncertain. But we are resilient. Our spirit continues to shine through as we stand tall. We strive not just to live, but to thrive. We stand together because we are in this together. And when you're ready to go on an adventure again, we'll be here to welcome you back. Kun Pangasinan. Masantos ya agu et si kayo na imbag nga adaw kada kayo amen. Ako si Marine Krista Robelwitz. Join me as I revisit and rediscover my beloved province and my home, Pangasinan. Pinned at the northwest of Philippines is a land of salt, Pangasinan. The names derive from Asin, but people are sweet and welcoming. We felt this as we set our feet on mom's hometown, Rosales, the gateway to the north. What better way to know more about Pangasinan than from its locals? And they all have one thing to say. Marihana! Staying true to this are Bangos Festival and Pistay Dayat. While these were halted, people relive the essence why these festivals are celebrated. Thanksgiving for the Bountiful Harvest. Home to Our Lady of Manawag, the tallest bamboo statue of San Vicente Ferrer, historical gulf and beaches, an international seaport in the making, the famous Hundred Islands, and millions of jubilant Pangasinense. All together validate that Pangasinan has beauty and wonders to offer. And a breath of fresh air. It is also in these wonders where locals get what sustain their families. What do they do with it? These local delicacies. One perfect way to seize the moment while you're here. Mmm! Masyang samit! And more! Pangasinan's tourism industry was afflicted by the challenges brought by time. Hotels and resorts redesigned their operations to ensure our safety. May these changes and challenges inspire you, us, to take better steps, because nature's marvels and adventure await us. Mabuhay! Ako po si Katrina de Mananan and please join me in exploring the Provinciedad of Taguig. 
gig is the love child known to be a balance between modernization and tradition. From striking architectures, the nature, and places to visit, the gig embraces the principle being in between urban and rural, hence the name Provinciudad. A global city of progress known for favorite tourist spots, historical sites, and city activities, the gig is always innovating for the future and one of the leading forces for progress in the Philippines. Most importantly, the heart and soul of the gig is in its people and their passions. From all kinds of people such as tech geniuses to empowered women and to our dedicated festival attendees, the gig is an ecosystem of its own. It is the people that provides life and energy to make this city thrive. Amidst the busy looks, the residents find ways to relax and find a place to center themselves physically, mentally, and of course, spiritually. One thing I love about the gig is that they have food from all regions of all over the Philippines. Ano ang pinaka na delicacy ng Pampanga? Chicharon? Ay, nasulat ka ano ko. Favorite ko yan. Market Market is just one of the many places here in Tagui. Ay, sayang, wala nang time. There was so much more I wanted to show you guys. But you know what? I gotta go. See you next time, mga best. My name is Katrina Dimaranan, representing Tagig. Cebu City, the Queen City of the South. Not just an island, but a total sensory experience. We open each year with the sound of magnificence of the grandest festival in the Philippines, Sinulog. Sabuano's undying passion for prayer and love for the miraculous Santo Niño is instilled to all of us Sabuanos. Our faith is as solid as the centuries-old architectural structure of our churches. Our city is a melting pot of talented individuals who continue to bring pride to the country. The vibrant people of Cebu is one of the reasons why our city is one of the top tourist destinations in the world. The people is what makes Cebu. Silangan tastes Cebuano cuisine more than the usual. Nothing can be more distinctively Cebuano than the famous Linarang in Pasil. Of course, ang kagumkum ug langmi ang Cebu lechon. In downtown Cebu where you can find Colon, also known to be the oldest street in the Philippines, is where people from all walks of life converge. It is really exciting to be crossing the busiest intersection in the metro where some of the greatest fashion designers and artists have tread. Cebu City is a bit of everything rolled into one. From the beautiful coastlines of the east and majestic highlands to the west, being the center of commerce and various industries, paved the way to Cebu's economic infrastructure development. Having the first Cebu subway in the Philippines, Cebu is definitely ready for the universe. Kini ang akong matahom o mabulukong syudad sa Cebu. Hello there, universe. My name is Kirsten Daniel Dalby, and I present to you Masbate. When you open the map of the Philippines, right at the heart of the Philippine archipelago is where you can find my hometown, Masbate. I am proud of this fact. Like a heart, this place really does pump so much joy and life to us Masbatenas and Masbatenas every day. Of course, here in Masbate, we have pristine beaches with crystal clear water, outstanding marine life, and postcard worthy views and the rodeo action. Masbate would be regarded by tourists as a dream destination. But for me, Masbate is more than that. I have lived a full life here with these wonderful people 
Almost every corner, every place has a special memory with people I know and love. Where neighbors know and love each other. That's one of the best parts. In Masbate, there are almost a million of us here. But why does it feel like we all know each other? I have lived here for 15 years and its beauty still surprises me every day. I am proud of this province. I am a proud Masbatenya and this is my home, Masbate. Hey everyone, this is Princess Krista Singh and welcome to Pasig City! Samahan niyo kong libutin ang pinakamamahal ko, Pasig City. History, diversity, community, progress, change. Defined and harnessed by its history and now being one of the most highly urbanized cities in the Philippines, Pasig has immensely evolved through the years. As an overseas Filipino worker, I've always looked forward in going back home during important occasions, especially Christmas, to enjoy the most anticipated event in Pasig City, the traditional annual celebration of Pasco Tita. And of course, food! If you love pastries and native delicacies, the Masalang Bakery is the place to be. With an array of original recipes such as Brazo de Mercedes, their uniquely named Diko Akalain, and do their best-selling egg pie. These will surely arouse your taste buds and satisfy your cravings. And the most important asset of our city is our people, the Pasigenos. Speaking of Pasigenos, a cooperative called Kilis Foundation is an outcome of women empowerment. They became an effective partner in the area of solid waste management, of which products are now being sold in 12 countries, in Europe, Asia, and U.S. The past, the present, and the future. We hope that our city becomes instrumental in helping our nation build a better and promising future for everyone. Because in Pasig, patuloy na umaagos ang pag -asa. Again, this is Princess Krista Singh, proudly representing the city where the most handsome mayor lives, Pasig City. Mukidnon is more than a piece of heaven on earth, with fresh air, lush forests, blue skies, abundant harvests, and beautiful people. smiles, warms my heart amid the cool Bukidnon breeze. To witness the passion and dedication the local farmers, weavers, and artists put into their work is truly admirable and awe-inspiring. Getting a glimpse of the country's finest cowboys, with their horses treading the mountains, compels my adventurous side to explore the wilderness and further discover the beauty of Bukidnon. Hearing the beat of the drums from the seven tribes coming together makes me long even more for the much-anticipated Kamalan Festival, a gathering and a celebration of unity in our beloved province. All this and more is what I have truly been longing for. I am proud to be a woman of Bukidnon, and I cannot wait to see you soon, Bukidnon, my home. <laughs>